teamwork is especially important to what we do. You put a warship to sea, if you don't pull together, you don't succeed. I've got a mixed team of uniformed and civilians and contractors. We'll approve test procedures, we'll accept test reports, and each of those activities requires an individual to have a degree of subject matter expertise. Sport is a massive thing with, with sort of Navy people. I've played volleyball for, for well over 30 years in, in two navies. Played at international level representing the ADF uh, in a tour of the UK in 2006 and had a chance to meet some really fantastic, like-minded people across all services. Sport is pivotal to forming you know, that relationship where you can, you can do it in a bit more relaxed format. On the 9th of September 1977, a lifetime ago, I had been the first person from my village to move south to join the Navy. An exciting time because I really didn't know what was going to lie ahead of me. Was I going to last six weeks, six months, six years? The CAT5 trials from a test and evaluation perspective uh, will focus around witnessing of the, the test activities that have been conducted by the Alliance Test and Activation Team. We will be in the background monitoring how the tests are conducted, how those tests are progressing, what the results of those tests are, uh, and we work very closely with that team from the Alliance to provide the assurance that the test is a, appropriate B has been completed successfully and see that the results are to the satisfaction of the Commonwealth. Having seen these things come alive from a piece of paper, we should be proud. You know, we should be ad advertising the fact that, that we've got the capability to do this. My name's Les Crawford. I'm the Combat Systems Engineering Manager, Test and Evaluation at the Air Warfare Destroyer Programme in Osborne, South Australia.